If you get it on some sort of property, sometimes it'll tear it up. Well, uh, something that we, we we experienced, but I haven't heard anybody talk about, like these high acidic chemicals, high alkaline chemicals, they'll eat through some bottles. You got some cheap bottles that you put in. Oh, just yeah, put you got to make bottle. sure they're in the right bottles. They got to, like the yeah. bottles are all categorized for, for yeah, the certain for, for chemicals. The, yeah, for the, for the, uh, for the strength and what it's going to be able to withstand. Mm -hmm. Um, so some of them can't withstand solvent. Some of them can't withstand uh, certain pHs. So, yeah, make sure that when you guys are doing your dilutions or you guys are changing out your bottles and, you know, putting them in your in your ready-to-use containers, make sure those are the proper containers because that's a big one. And usually, if it's tearing through a bottle, it's usually pretty flammable or corrosive to begin with. So now you're getting that on other areas of your of your rig or your shop. I've had... You know, I had some, uh, I've had a couple things happen where we've had issues with, uh, with, with that specific. And that's where I learned my lesson.